Hey, what's happening? This is a tune out with Tim, and the song is Ventura Highway by America. America is a band that I've known of always, and of course, I've always appreciated their music, but never paid any attention to the band itself until very recently. And they're very interesting, very interesting guys. And the song Ventura Highway is one of those songs like The Boys in, Are Back in Town by Thin Lizzy that I always admired the guitar parts, but assumed they were far beyond me. Dewey Bunnell's the name of the guy, the singer, who wrote the song. And frankly, the song itself uh, really hits me because it's about Dewey Bunnell on a family trip, I guess. They were in their old station wagon, I guess in the early 60s or 50s, whenever it was. But they were obviously near Ventura Highway in California, and they pulled over with a flat tire, and Dewey and his brother were looking at the sky, and that's where they saw the alligators in the sky. So the song is a direct reference. It's a call out to a childhood memory. So of course, I'm, I'm there, I'm in, I'm fully invested. Just those two chords, basically there's like four, well, maybe there's four chords in the song. But another reason why I love this song, let me adjust my, my head's, not that my head is important in the shot, but anyway, there's this G major, but instead of doing a full bar, if you're a guitarist, you know the E form here in it's uh, third fret, but he lifts up, so he's fingering the the guts of the chord, but instead of barring, he's letting the, let me see. It would just be, I guess, the B and the E ring, but he's getting a drone, listen. I love droning. Any song that's got droning where multiple strings are playing the same note or intervals, I'm, I'm in, <laughs> I'm invested. And the syncopation is beautiful. And then the D major, I, I can never remember the name of the chord. It's not that important, but it's one of my very favorites. D major is my very favorite. D major seven might be it, or minor seven. No, major seven. But that's the other chord. But there, the bass is ambiguous. And the bassist is actually down here going G, D, G, F sharp, which makes sense with the G. D, right? But the bass is going. Now the F sharp is in the, it's in the, the chord, it's in the key, but there's an ambiguity. And especially what I like about this, this D, I can't remember what it's called, it doesn't matter. All these strings fit in so I could go, or I could let the E go, or I could use A. Or I could use D, or I could use everything. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, how delicate, how beautiful. The dual guitar, they're in thirds. I like to play the lower, am I playing, yeah, the lower voice? So beautiful, just simple major key trilling, you know? I love that. And, and it's almost pseudo-random when you listen to when they add the little ornaments in the song. I mean, I know it's planned out, but it doesn't seem to have a decided rhyme or rhythm whether they're just not going to play it at all. You know, they'll just do that. Or if they'll go and stay there. Or if they'll go. It's so cool and playful. The other part, it's, it's a really disturbing chord. B 
before that I don't really like that part of the song because although I like dark and ominous, the all the unresolved stuff that's in this F sharp type chord, I don't even know what this is called, but there's some wackadoodle chords in here. You know what part I'm talking about? Does that most of the time, but then it goes, oh, oh. Oh boy, <laughs> that is a mood, a mood. Feel those brain chemicals, Tim, yeah. <laughs> Anything in closing about this? There's one more little ornament that I don't know how to play yet that happens during the verse, and let me see. Since we're going from D to G. Something like that, you know what I mean? It's all just arpeggiated major chords, very easy, simple. And I guess in closing, I'm so jammed about, or so jazzed about America because they're just quintessentially hippie dudes. And the fact that they're today, they're still giving interviews, they're still playing, they're still touring, and they're very articulate, smart guys. I'm, I'm definitely on the hunt. Hey, before I end this video, I need to, to close a loop from an earlier episode of this series in which we were doing, um, I was appreciating with you, Give a Little Bit. And at the time, I didn't know how to play the whole song, so I kind of fluffed it, saying, oh, they do a bunch of chords. Yeah, well, that was just me weaseling. The truth of the matter is, the chord progression is beautiful. Let me see if I can remember. It's um, at the end of the song, you know. Uh, God, it's hard to context switch from America to the other song. Darn it, maybe it's not a good, th oh, I, I, let me try this. Remember this part? Here's the part. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's not working out. I'll do a separate lesson. Thanks. Thanks a lot. See ya.